dropping everything all the time. <sighs> Howdy friends. Today is a, it's so echoing here. I forgot that I had to get carpets. When you move into a new place, like there's just so many things that you have to get that I just like, I'll, like I'm so nuts on the internet, like I'll start looking for a con TV console table and then two seconds later, I'm like looking for a rug and then two seconds later, I'm looking for planters. Like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I do know what I'm doing with hair color, most of the time. So today I thought I would like change up the pink a little bit. My hair is obviously a very pale pink right now. Okay, I'm sorry, before we even go any further, I must put chapstick on my lips, they are so dry. I'm gonna use the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer because that was the closest thing to me, not because I like it more than anything else, but uh, I don't know what the deal is. I'm trying to drink so much water. I'm failing myself. Whew. Okay, so I thought we might, um, so I've got pale pink kind of going on here. There's a little bit left in here. Um, and I think, so it's a pastel pink, so I'll be using our um, new shade Froze. Froze, Froze. Um, so I'm gonna be using that, that's what I've been using for my pink. But I think I'm gonna do some little neon orange strips in the front using Porange, which is a UV reactive hair color for my hair color line. I thought we might like spice it up a little bit. One of the reasons why my hair color has faded so fast is because I keep taking hot showers and using um, non-color safe shampoos because I'm a rebel and <laughs> I've had this freaking little braid in. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the day that I put this in. I've literally had it in there for like four days. No regrets. So I've been doing, washing my hair in hot water, which removes color. I've also been using a non-color safe shampoo, which also removes color. You know what I accidentally did? I'm testing some new shampoos for Arctic Fox and I accidentally took the clarifying one that we're making and like used that. And then I texted Ryan after I was like, Hey bro, like all my color just came out of my hair. What is up with this new shampoo? Cause I, I thought it was a different one that we're coming out with. And he was like, yeah, you just used the one that removes color. So read labels and that might help you out a little bit. I was like, whoa, a little aggressive, but all right, I see your point. But the pro trouble is <laughs> the labels from our labs are like out of paper. So I'm gonna brush through this so it's easy to apply the color since our hair color is very um, thick, almost like a hair mask. It's really important to saturate small sections and the easiest way to do that is by brushing through your hair. So the color removing shampoo, clarifying shampoo is actually going really well as it turns out. And I know that you guys have been wanting, I need to brush these extensions, oh lord. Um, I know you guys have been wanting a color remover. We're still working on it. It is a really, really hard um, thing to make and I know you guys are anxious, but we can't put out something that doesn't actually work. So work really well. Otherwise there's no point. I don't want you guys wasting your money on something that like doesn't really work. I don't really have any extensions up here as you can see. So I kind of would, would have to do like this one way back here if I was gonna do a long piece in front. That's really not how I planned it. I planned to have like a couple long pieces in the front. But it looks like I'm just gonna be doing maybe the front here. Okay, and we'll look at that, make sure that's pretty even. Oh my god, this is about to be so cute. This is such a good hairstyle. I feel like a little Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. I feel like um, Wizard of Oz, like part of the Lollipop Guild or something. So I brought some clips with me because when it comes to Arctic Fox, like I said before, you've got to work in small sections and you really need to saturate all your hair. So when people say, oh, should I get the four ounce or the eight ounce? I always recommend the eight because, you know, it depends how thick your hair is, but it's so much better safe than sorry. And then you'll have some color to touch up. Dude, my hair is just looking like really hot right now. If you guys want a tutorial on what I've done here later, let me know, leave in the comments, I got you. We do actually carry Arctic Fox gloves now. Um, excuse me, because I don't even have them with me today. Uh, so that's kind of an issue. <laughs> gonna fill this entire thing. Up. Excuse me. 
these bottles, I swear. Oh my gosh, Nick's FaceTiming me right now. Let's see if, hey Siri, answer the phone. It doesn't work. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hi. Dude, something is going on. Mercury retrograde. Sky looks crazy outside. Like all these like houses right here um, out this window are like lit up by the sun and then behind them, it's just like dark ass clouds. Like it looks like there is a storm a brewing. It was like storming all day yesterday and I was like gonna go to the grocery store. I was gonna cook, do a little meal prep and uh, I'm so grateful I didn't have to leave my house at all because I also found out that I left my keys at Nick's house in San Diego, <laughs> really awesome. Thank goodness I had his uh, secondary car key here. Now that this is all worked in, I'm gonna go through and kind of just check some of these little areas right here. Like you can see there's a little bit of blonde back here. It's not the end of the world, but I'm gonna add some more color onto these areas and work it in and just kind of go through section by section to make sure that, oh, somebody just rang my freaking doorbell to make sure that it's like fully saturated. This is really great for my front door. It's like, hey, um, I know I pay for the service every month, but mm, you know, I can't believe it's already five o'clock. Okay, I'm gonna leave this on for probably about an hour and then I'll rinse, but I'm actually gonna put a face mask on right now. So let me, actually, I think I can just take these off. Yeah, that'll work. Um, so I'm gonna put, a, put on the uh, Dermalogica sebum clearing mask around my chin because I'm actually breaking out here right now. And then I'm gonna take the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask and put this a thicker layer on and just not sleep with it on. So, oh, oh my gosh. This mask just like pooed it all over my table and it looked like reptile poop. Let's shake this out. So this mask is going to hydrate and brighten, which is good been pretty cold and dry here. Not dry as in it's been raining, but it's dry for your skin. I look insane. I really hope nobody knocks on my door and actually is doing anything other than delivering just a package. Cause sketchy. So we got a little hydration going on, a little pore clearing. I'm here for it, coloring the hair. It's just like, a full on day of beauty. So I'm gonna leave this for like an hour and go do some whatever around the house. I got a lot of PR packages to open, maybe I'll do that. And then um, I'm gonna pick my nose a little more and we'll be back to show you the final result. Okay, so here is the finished hair. I was actually gonna style my hair, but it is nine o'clock and I'm so tired and I have to clean this whole studio. So I was like, mm, I'm just gonna leave it straight and style it tomorrow for a video with like a different eye look. I tried out the Jaclyn Hill um, eyeshadow palette and I had some issues with the sticking right there. I love how this turned out. I actually had to rinse my hair twice because I thought the color was out. Even me, I like own this company and a lot of times I'll be blow drying my hair and if your hair isn't getting like dry and it still feels kind of like wet and looks wet but it really isn't wet, 
That's because there's still hair color in your hair, and so I had to hop in the shower and rinse it again. But this turned out really good. I love the shade. It's so pretty. It's such a beautiful, like, blush pink. And this will be, um, you know, a bit brighter and different on your hair if you have, like, platinum, because this is meant to go onto platinum hair. I don't have platinum hair. This is just blonde. So I also love how these turned out. I think these look really cute. Um, I did, like, a little uh, earlier when I was wa washing my hair again, I did, like, a cute little bun up here. And I was like, okay, I need to actually do that. It's like really cute. Obviously it needs to be like styled, but I thought that was super cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.